Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How's it going? Fine. And you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How was your day today? Tell me. How was your day? It was very busy, but my my work, but it's fine. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank you for joining, guys. What about the rest of the class? How are you? Tyler? Natalie? I'm good. Stella? Very good? Yes. How was your day? It was great. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lisa? Juan? You did? How was your day? Good teacher, thank you. Okay, very nice. Very good. One, how about you? How was your day? Good. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you for joining everybody. We're going to begin with this new session. It's a great pleasure to have you in the meeting. Thank you for, for joining. We're going to begin with the session, but before to do it, I, I want to ask you, you know, things related to the platform. Everything good about the platform? Are you work, are you working well? I mean, have you had a problem? No, oh, teacher. I am going for three for section three. Oh, okay, very nice. Perfect. Yeah, and we're going to start with that section, section number three today, okay? But remember that this coming Thursday is tomorrow. We're going to take the midterm. when let's get ready. And if you have any questions, doubt, just let me know. And first, I will help you, give you a hand, okay? And well, let's see, let's begin. Let me display the presentation that I prepared for you. Okay, this is what we have for today. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. This is session number seven. And today's topic is relative classes of time. And to start, this is session number, session three in your platform. Some of you are working in that section. Very nice. So you have advanced in this case. Uh, remember that you have to be ready for tomorrow's midterm. We will take it tomorrow, okay? So be ready, study, practice. If you have some questions, let me know. And I'm willing to help, okay? I'm here. So let's, let's continue. We're going to start. And again, we're going to talk about the classes today, the classes of time. Okay, open up. Let's begin with the following explanations. Um, what is a relative class of time? So relative classes of time refer to a time, it could be a date, be a moment previously mentioned. Okay, that is the first thing that we have to. It refers to a time, to a moment, to a date, etc. Okay. What else? They are usually introduced with the verb be. So we use the verb be in these forms, these relative classes. Okay, use the verb be. That is another aspect that we have to take into account. And third, third, it says, let's see, I will listen to Roxanne. A noun phrase. Sana, could you help me with the reading? A noun phrase. Sana? Sana? Can you remember with the reading? A noun phrase? Okay. Uh, 
I have to read a refer to a time. This yeah. part. Yes. Uh, the, the last part. Or, or the last. Oh, the third ask. Yeah, don't worry. Okay. A noun phrase, the day, the month, the year, the season, etc. It's follow after the verb be. Exactly. So we have a noun phrase. A noun phrase. So a noun phrase is a compound noun. A compound noun. So we can have different forms in this case. Okay. For example, the day, the month, the year. That is a noun phrase. It's a compound noun. And this one, it goes after the verb be. After the verb be. That is the way we use relative classes. Relative classes of time. And we use a specific linking word. A linking word or a connector. Yes. And what is that? The, the connector that we use is when, because when expresses time. When expresses time. For example, let's look at the, the structure that we use for a relative class. We have the date, we have the date. In this case, we specify the, the moment, we specify something in a specific, you know, for example, if we like if we say a date, when we say February 14th, for example, when we say December, or when we say Christmas Day, etc. Those are dates, let's say dates. Then we have the verb be. Okay, date plus the verb be. So we know that the verb be in this case is am um, or is. Am um, or is. Okay, that is the verb be, um, or is. It depends, you know, but most of the time we use simple present, simple present, in this case, um, or is. The verb be plus a noun phrase, noun phrase. What is a noun phrase? A noun phrase is, it could be like, when we say, for example, holiday, holiday, this is a, that is a noun, a holiday, a in, a family. All this phrase is a noun, a noun phrase, typically. Because we have a noun, yeah, holiday, and we have another complement, holiday in October. Some other, you know, um, some other combinations that we can have when we refer into noun phrases. It could be like, when we say a beautiful day, a beautiful day, this is a noun phrase because uh, the noun is compound, compound. We have a, an article, an adjective, and the noun, that is a noun phrase, beautiful day, okay? A noun phrase plus when we use a connector and then we have a complement. So in that case, the complement is another sentence. Another sentence. That's why in this case we have two classes. Two classes. We have first class. After the first class, plus when, plus another class. One sentence plus a connector. In this case, when plus another sentence. Okay, so we have two ideas. Two ideas. And we link, we link those ideas with a connection or linking word, which is when, which is when, okay? This is the structure. Again, they plus the verb be plus a noun phrase plus when plus a complement, okay? Let me give you some examples. Moving on, but I want to know if you have Questions or doubts? Questions or doubts? So no, doubts? I don't have questions. Okay. No teacher. Very good. Don't forget, don't forget this case. Don't forget this. Let's say that we have first class. 
first class and when and when then we have a second class okay okay moving on don't forget the structure let me show you some examples okay again we have the structure date plus the verb be then we have the noun phrase plus when after that we have the complement that is another sentence, that is another class. For example, when we say February 14th, this is the, the date, February 14th, the verb is the day, noun phrase, when people give cars to the ones they love. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love, okay? That is one example. And we are following, you know, the structure because date is February 10th. We have the verb is, then we have a noun phrase, the day, when the connector, People give cards to the ones they love. So that is a compliment. That is another idea. That is another class. Okay. That is one. Another, you know, that date, on that date, we tend to celebrate Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is the day when people give cards or give presents, it could be, to the ones they love. So it depends, people give cars or people give presents. So we know very well that on that date, then or the possibility it could be like Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to the ones they love. Okay. One example. Another example it could be like Halloween is a holiday in October when children were costume. Again, the date, the date is Halloween. 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 Okay, Halloween. The verb is is, then we have the noun phrase. The noun phrase is a holiday in October. Holiday in October. That is a compound noun. No. Then we have when, the connector. At the end, we have another clause, another idea, or another sentence. Children, or children, by constant. Okay, so we have in this case a parse that, and in this case, complement relative class of time. Okay, another example. Summer, that is a season, we have summer, winter, spring, autumn, etc. Summer is the season when people go to the beach. Okay. Summer is the season when people go to the beach. Some of it's, it's almost time to, to to go, you know, because yeah we are in summer. Summer is a season when people go to the beach. Again, date we have in this case a specific date, summer. And the verb is uh, the noun phrase, in this case, the day, I'm sorry, the season, then the connector, when, and at the end we have a complement. People go to the beach. Okay, but this is the way we construct the, the relative classes of time at a specific linking word, which is when. So that a specific linking word or connector expresses time, time. 
first we have some other um, relative pronouns because the, we call them like relative pronouns. When we're talking about relative classes, we can call them like relative pronouns. In this case, when, who, instead of a regular, we're focusing on when and when. A second. Okay, let's continue. Summer, again, summer is the season when people go to the beach. Okay, summer is the date, the verb is, noun phrase, the season, when is. The relative pronoun, we tend to call them like this, relative pronouns. It's a relative pronoun because we're using when, and then we have a complement. Okay. Any questions so far? No, teacher. Any questions? Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Okay. okay, for example, if I give you um, another possibility, another example, can you tell me? I say, for example, Christmas Day. Yes. Can you write an example in your notebook? Yes. Christmas Day is. Let's compliment. Let's compliment. Let's go. I'll give you a couple of seconds, minutes. Christmas Day is. I need to listen to you, okay? Next one, you're not the first idea. Idea. Oh, by the way, I have Rigoberto in the bed. So, first time that I have Rigoberto, I have Alfredo, Gabriela. Hi, guys. Welcome. Good evening. No, it's, no, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. It's okay. okay. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome to. I mean, this is my first time with you. I know that you started some se sessions ago, but it's nice to, to be with you guys. My name is Hugo Bastos, and I am in charge of the group. Okay, so, you know, whenever you have any questions, doubts, if you need some help, just let me know and I will help you. Okay, and I have Bella, Rodolfo, Rigoberto. How are you guys? Nice to meet you. How are you guys? Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, uh, well, we're talking about relative classes of time. Okay. Let me you know summarize what we have done so far in case you join us a couple of minutes ago. Let me give a summary about relative classes of time. We were saying that we use relative classes of time. We want to refer to, to a time, a specific time, date per moment, okay? And this is previous, previously mentioned, previously mentioned, okay? So they are usually followed or introduced by the verb be. And as another aspect that we have to take into account. And another one is that we use a noun phrase. What is a noun phrase? Like I said before, a noun phrase is a compound noun. It depends. We can have like different examples like a holiday in October. What is a noun phrase? A beautiful day. What is another example of a noun phrase? And a noun phrase, like I said before, is a compound. It's a compound noun. But we can have different parts of the speech. Uh, for example, A, which is the article, radical, beautiful, which is an adjective, 
day, which is a noun. A beautiful day. That is a noun phrase. Okay? So a noun phrase, the day, the month, the year, the reason, etc., is followed the verb be. So we use the noun phrases after the verb be. And this is the structure that we were discussing. We have the dates first, be, you know, Christmas Day, uh, Valentine's Day, um, let's say even Carnaval de San Miguel, for example, etc. Those are some specific moments or dates that we know. Okay? The date plus the verb be. The verb be is am or is. Uh, a noun phrase. Noun phrase again. With the day, the season, holiday in October, holiday in December, etc. Plus when, which is a, a relative pronoun in this case, something like this, that's a pronoun. Or in other cases, we call them like connectors or linking words. Okay. Then we have a complement. So that complement is another class. Another class. And I said this, we have a first class, plus when, plus a second class. One sentence, the first sentence, the friend, as a second sentence. Okay, and we'll be giving some examples based on the structure. February 14th is a day when people give cards. The ones they love. If you want possibility. February 14th is a date. Then the verb is. The noun phrase is the day, when, and the complement, which is people, cars, the new ones, they love. Another possibility that I was giving you is Valentine's Day, the day when people give presents to the ones they love. It's the same because we, we celebrate uh, on February 14th, typical holiday, Valentine's Day. Okay, another one, Halloween. The holiday in October, Halloween is a date. Verb is holiday in October. That is a noun phrase. When in the company, this is second class. Children or customs. That is another one. And the last example that I was giving you: summer, the season when people are to the beach. Okay, we have different seasons, winter, summer, spring, autumn, or in some cases, fall. fall. Summer, we are in summer, by the way. Summer is a season when people go to the beach. So we're getting ready to go to the beach, you know? Okay. And yeah. last, I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. Questions? No, no, no. Okay. This is the way we use, you know, the relative classes. Relative class. We that a specific relative pronoun. The relative pronoun is when. When. Okay. That is the relative pronoun. When. And we use them to connect ideas. Connect ideas. Okay, well, and before I you know, I summarized this because I, I having case notice that your classmates were here, but I introduced or I summarized the information again because they join us again in a couple of minutes. And well, right now, what I want to do in your notebooks, I need you to give me an idea. I need you to give me an example. Christmas day is, you have different possibilities. Let's go, I will give you a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Write your notebook one idea. You have to use this structure. Okay. Date, or be, noun phrase, when, and the complement. Give me some ideas. Christmas day is. If you're ready, let me know, and you can provide us your Hi. example. I think. Independence okay. Day. Okay, that is another one. Very good. Very good. Okay. We're gonna 
take a moment right now. I, I want to listen to Christmas Day. How can you tell me about Christmas Day? Oh, I, uh, Christmas Day is the day when people celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus oh, Christ's yes. birthday. Oh, yeah. You can I, say in a way. I, Celebrate way. Jesus Christ's birthday. Birth. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. That is one of the possibilities that we have. Christmas Day is the day when people celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday. Exactly. That's a good example. So, very good. Another possibility? Okay. Very good example. Thank you. I have one. Tell me. I don't know if Roxana is first, right? She already, she already uh, gave okay. me one example. Okay. I have Christmas Day is a holiday in the year when all the family reunit. it. Okay. Very good. But again, sorry, Christmas Day is a holiday in the year. When all the family reunit. Reunit. Yes. Okay. Okay, you can say reunit or you can say meet. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else? Another person has another version. What is uh, what Christmas, uh, um, Christmas Day is when people exchange gifts. Okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You're missing something. You're missing something before when. What is missing? Christmas Day is, you say when. You're missing something before when. Is a uh, is the day. The day, yeah. People. Okay. When Several people, people exchange gifts. Yeah. For the exchange gifts. Very good. Okay. Exactly. Okay, perfect. You gave me some great ideas. Let's go to another another example. Someone said in there Independence Day. Independence Day is go ahead. I will give you some time. Text right in your notebooks, another idea. Independence Day is. Um, independent yeah. Independence Day is is the day people go out to to march. Okay. When people go marching. I go marching. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Independence Day is the day when people go marching. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Another possibility. Else? I have one, but I don't know if it's Sorry. correct. It is correct. Independence Day is a date when remember us why we have freedom. Hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Independence Day is a day when remember us. Remember us, repeat again, remember us. Why we have freedom. Okay. Oh. Mm. Probably, probably you can say when we express, we express or we, 
beam. Um, celebrate, I would say celebrate. Or freedom. Or freedom. With the way. The penance say is a day when we express, or we celebrate our freedom. I would say celebrate. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. Very good. Okay, well, I have more participants. Let me see who is here. I have one teacher. Okay, very good. Just give me a second because I have two more participants, I think. Um, who, who has joined us right now? I mean, or some minutes ago. Sorry, because yes, I have 14. Okay. Yeah, no. Rigoberto, right? Or I have to Rigoberto behind me. I'm sorry. So you just see here that are called Rigoberto Mahano. I don't know if it's the same. Teacher. Yeah, hello. I, I have one, but, but you tell me, please, okay? Of course, of course. I will okay. listen to you. Okay, let's go and then I will listen to. Okay. In, in the, let's go. Okay. Independence Day is among when the no, it's among the when my country, all people, se visten de azul y blanco. No sé cómo sería. Mm, okay, when people wear, probably you can say people wear blue and white clothes. Oh, yeah. In a way, people wear blue and white clothes or accessories. Yeah. Okay. Thank That's you. nice. Just one observation. One observation. Probably in this case, you can change. You can say September. September. Mm -hmm. if you want to use month. If you want to use month. September fifteen. September fifteen. Exactly. September fifteen. Uh, mm, you know, when you say a month, probably you can say just September. September is a month. We know that we're referring to some other people. September is a month who wear blue and white clothes for a present. Or if you want to say September 15, September 15, so it's a day because we're referring to, I mean, one day. I mean, we know that we celebrate uh, independence the whole month, right? Schools, etc. So people celebrate independence all month. But in this case, because of the idea, September 15 is a day in this case, the people wear blue and white clothes and accessories. But you can say September is a month, okay? Does it make sense? You did? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, very good. That, that is a nice example. Thank you. I will go with one. I'm sorry, you. I think you want to provide me another example. People, uh, uh, teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, is the uh, when is the difference if you say uh, Independence Day is the day, and which you say you you say Independence Day is a day. It's a day. Okay. A da or or a? Oh, um, in this case, it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to use a or, or da. You know that we, we use um, the article a is because we're referring to a general thing, a, a day, whatever day. Whatever day. Well, in this case, because we're, we're trying to be specific in some cases, because when we say independence day, you know, in this case, we are not being specific. That's why we use a day because it's general. But if you say September 15, in this case, yeah. Sorry, I want to make that. It's the day. Correction, it's a day. Because it's, because it's a specific, specific day. Specific. Okay. 
If you say Independence Day, we don't know when. And we don't know when. Uh, September 13th, September 25th. Okay, it's September 15th is a day. It's a specific. Okay. okay. Specific or general? It depends. It depends. Very good. Here. One, I think you have another one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Independence Day is the day when Salvadorians celebrate uh, the liberty. Okay. Salvadorian celebrate uh, liberty. liberty. Liberty, yes. Exactly. Salvadorian people, Salvadorian celebrate liberty. Yeah. Again, in this case, we can say, ah, Independence Day is a day. Because we're saying, you know, in general, general, we don't specify. Okay. Yeah, that is a nice example. Thank you, Juan. Okay, any questions? Everything is, is clear. Very nice. Understand? Perfect. What about the rest? Ella, Godofredo? Please. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, by the way, um, Rigoberto share an example or some examples in the chat. He said, Independence Day is a party day. Yeah, that, that is correct. That is correct. It's a party day. What well, you have to complement, you have to use, remember? The Independence Day is a party day. Yeah, because that is a compound noun or a noun phrase. It's a party day when. You're missing the compliment. Rigoberto? It's a party day when, I would say, when people go and enjoy a race. A race. Okay? Okay, yeah. Tell us. Okay, in the meantime, that Rigoberto is typing. Uh, complement or this idea, Independence Day is a party day. We're going to move on to the following part because I have to introduce the following uh, exercises that I have for you. I need you to write, look at the statements, and I need you to complete sentences with your own information. At different, um, in this case, days, February is the month when Labor Day is a day when Mother's Day is a day when December is a month when Thanksgiving is a holiday when Christmas Day is a day when September 15th is a day. Please, in your notebooks, I want you to write statements and I need you to complete. I need you to use or take into account the structure and the examples that we were providing, the examples that we were discussing, okay? Let's go. I will give you some time. Let's see Rigoberto's answer. Independence Day is a party day when people meet. Ah, oh, okay. Perfect. It's a party day when Write the D over here. Independence Day is a party day when people uh, meet as you can, and eat together. You can say, um, I would say, meet their families and eat together. Probably that can be the way, but just some changes you can make. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you too. Thank you too. I appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Let's go with these exercises. We're going to work on this. I need you to write your own ideas. We have to complete the relative classes. Okay, let's go. I will give you some time. If you need some help, just let me know and I can give you some idea. Give you some help. Thank you so much. Let's go. If you're ready, let me know sure, too. Sure. Yeah, I'm coming. 
teacher, I have to go in because I am going to drive. Oh. Then. Um, okay, I see. I see. Don't worry. Um, if you want to help us, if you want to help us, it's okay. I understand that you are on your way. Be careful and fine. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, let's go. Once we're ready, let me know. So we can start providing. I just ideas. want, I just have one. Mine. Okay. Uh, I say. Okay, tell me, tell me. Okay, February is the month when people show love to your loved ones. Okay. Yeah. Good again. February. February is the month when people show love to your loved ones. Okay, people show love to their loved ones. Oh, there, there, okay, there. Okay. You can, you can include here if you want a friendship. Friendship. To the loved ones. Okay, very good. That's a nice example. Thank you. Let's continue. Continue working. And the second. Uh, the labor day is a day when people don't work. Exactly. Very good. Labor day is a day when people don't work. Very good. Thank you. Okay, continue. Continue with the exercises in your notebooks, write the ideas, and then once you're ready, you can tell me, you can provide me your ideas. Oops. Okay, back. Thank you. Continue. I have one teacher. Okay, tell me, tell me. Um, Mother's Day is a day when the people thank you for, for the gifts of life. Okay. It's a day when people thanks, thanks, right? Thankful for the gift of life. Oh, okay. People are thankful. Thankful for the gift exactly. of yeah. life. Very good. That's nice. Mother's Day is a day when people are thankful for the gift of life. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Um, uh, December, yeah, uh, Dece De December is the month that people like the most because it is spent as a family. Okay, repeat again. December is the month. Is the month that people 
like the most because it, it is spent as a family. Okay, very good, I got you. I got your idea. Just one observation. Remember that you have to use uh, the structure. When, when is a month when people, people like the most, like the most. because they spend time together. Okay. Just be careful. I mean, the idea is, is good, it's really good. December is a month when people. Um, well, I, I think I would change it because when you say when people like the most, that, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Probably you can say just like um, when people spend a lot of time together. Okay. Yeah. I have one about Thanksgiving. Okay, tell me. Thanksgiving is a holiday when people eat together. Exactly. Again. Eat, eat together turkey. <laughs> yeah, eat turkey together. <laughs> turkey together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Eat turkey together. Very good, very good. But that is delicious. That is delicious. Yeah. I have another one with, with Thanksgiving. It's similar, but. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. Thanksgiving is a holiday when we prepare a diner for thanks for all the things that we have. Prepare dinner for? For thanks. Thinking. Thinking. Thinking for all the things that we have. Very good. For thanking all the things we have. Yes. That's another example. Here? Well, let's see in the chat, someone sent me an example. I think it's from Roberto. Yeah. Mother's Day is a day when sons give away a present. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a day. When, let's say, children, the rest of children, because in this case we include sons and daughters, children give presents to their mothers. Excellent. That's a nice What about Mother's Day? Tell me. Mother's Day, day is a day when I spend time with my mother. Okay. Mother's Day is a day, right? When I spend time with my mother. Yeah. Be good. Thank you. What about Another one with Labor Day? Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Sure. Okay. Labor Day is a day when people go to the beach with family and friends. Family and friends. Yeah, completely. Thank you. Nice. What about number six? Christmas Day is a day. If you have another example with a different or the previous ones, it's okay. Let me know. And I can write or I can type. Your example in the chat. Oh, a Christmas day. I have one about Christmas day. Okay, tell me. Christmas day is a day when people visit their relatives. Nice. I have another one with Christmas. Sure, tell me. Christmas day is a day when people look more happy. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. look more 
You say more happier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, in that happy. case, you say happier. Look happier. Ah, okay. You, in, in that, because it's a, com this is a, a comparative adjective. I mean, you say happier I mean, instead of saying more happy, because that is a way happier. Okay. Yes, very good. Uh, uh, I have another one sorry. about February. February? Oh, okay. February is the month when people express their love each other. Is correct? Yeah. When, when people say express love, they love each other. Yeah, they love each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What about the rest? Let's see. I have Mauricio. Uh, well, Manuel, sorry. Chris. Roberto is in the chat. Natalie. Yeah. In the chat, very good. Christmas Day is a, is a day when Santa Claus visit, visit, give presents to everybody, like a tradition. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, Christmas Day is, is a day when Santa Claus visits, um, let's say, other people or other houses in order to give presents. Yes. Okay? Yes, very good, Roberto. Other houses, or it could be other children. This is children. You know, we, we know that, that tradition. That's a tradition, sorry, I forgot to add it's a tradition. Very good. What about number seven? Does someone have another one for number seven? Thank you too, Roberto. That's a nice example. Uh, teacher, tell me, tell me this. Sure. Uh, uh, for seven, Christmas Day is a day. Yep. Six. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Number six. Okay. Christmas Day is a day when the kid uh, board rocket. When kids? Kids is a day when the kids. The, the the children, the kids, yeah. board rocket, mm. board quemar. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you, very good. When children, you can say more or you can say blow up, blow up. up. Blow up. In this mm. case, it could be yeah, rockets. You say rockets, and fireworks. Five, five Yeah, exactly. Christmas Day is a day when children blow up rockets, or in this case, fireworks. Fireworks is in general. I mean, we have you know different kind of fireworks. Very good. For number seven, does someone have one example for number seven? That was similar to you know the one that we were discussing in the examples. September 15 is a day when we celebrate our independence. Exactly. Yeah, very good. September 15. Tell me, tell me. Sure. Tell me. Uh, September 15 is the day when people uh, watch Paraday. What? Oh, parades. Uh, parades, parade. parades. <laughs> yes. yes, parades. Yeah, exactly. So that is, that is something uh, traditional in the country, right? That we, we go marching. In this case, children go marching. And well, some other people, right? In, in the companies or even soldiers. If these officers, they go marching. Exactly. Very good. Anybody else? Another 
person, another participant that have a different example? Me. Okay, Tommy. Okay. Hey, February is the month when I buy more chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. February is the month when I... I buy more chocolate. More chocolate, okay. Mm. When you buy and you eat a lot of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> when I buy and eat, yeah, exactly. I need the chocolate. <laughs> okay, yeah, very nice. Um, somebody else? You have, you have given me some great examples. Yeah, this is the way we use one of the classes of time. When? Do you have any questions? Any doubt? Does it make sense? Do you think everything is good? Everything clear? Yes, everything is, is, is clear. Nice. What about the rest? Yeah. Oh. No questions? I, no. Okay. Natalie? Yeah. Alfredo? For me, everything is clear, but I have a, a question about one meaning word that we write in the examples because I, I don't know the meaning. Okay. Sorry. Of paradise in, in the last one. Oh, parades, parades. Uh, that, that one, it, it, that word means that you go marching. You go marching, okay? Let me show you a, a picture. Let me show you a picture of... In Spanish, is like the file. Exactly, exactly. So that is, you know, a parade. Parade. Parades, parades. parades. Parade. It's pronounced parade. 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 Let me show you. These are parades. Yeah. Okay. That is the meaning. Yes. Okay. Thank Here. you. It's a pleasure. Somebody else? Question? Teacher, I have one more. It's popular. Yeah. Tell me. September is the month when donuts are two for one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. September is the month when people buy donuts, where people find donuts in promotions. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. That is a nice example. This is, this is common, right? This is popular, as you said. Very good. Let's see, Natalie provided me one example in the chat. Mother's Day is a day when I sing to my mother and grandmother. Nice. That's really cool. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> I like it. Very good, Natalie. That's really nice. Thank you for sharing the chat. Okay. Um, any questions? Over time, get it to you know all the examples that we provided. Uh, any words uh, that you don't know, etc. You can ask me. No, I like this class because it's is very clear for me. Excellent, very <laughs> good. I like it. Thank you for uh, for being here. I appreciate your time. I know that you're busy, but you know, we have to make great forms. We have to make sacrifices. Okay. For me, it's a pleasure. For me, it's a pleasure. All right? More questions? Okay. Doubts? No. I don't have any question. Very good. Everything okay. is okay. It's clear. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hisela. Everything is clear for me. Thank you. Okay, we're going to stop right here because it's 10.01, almost 10.02. We're going to start right here. And remember, if you need some help, if you need some support, 
related to the platform, etc. Let me know, okay? And I will give you a hand. Also, remember that tomorrow, after the, the meter, be ready. Tomorrow, we're going to continue. We're going to talk about a different topic. And we're going to reinforce in case you need some help. Because I know that some of you have advanced section three. And that's really nice because you can practice. You can have some listening practice, some grammar, etc. Okay, So you have to continue doing it. Women. Teacher, I have a question, okay. uh, but for uh, you or, or someone uh, knows about, about when you work in, in knowledge part of the platform, when, which, no, what, uh, how many opportunity you have uh, for, for your answer? Okay. And I, I don't know, I, I... Uh, Well, does someone in my case, in my case, to be honest, uh, I'm not sure because the system can provide us some price, you know, it depends. I think, I think, and well, I will ask case someone coming from, from this cooperative, I will ask how many tries do you have for every you know, exercises or every, uh, let's say, part that you have to complete. Because yeah, it is it is good to know it. I mean, because you try and you complete all the exercises. So I will ask, I will ask, or if someone knows, you can tell us in here. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to finish right here, everybody. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good night. And well, take care a lot. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you.